In today's Pushing the Limits series, we're looking at the fate of thousands of athletes who were training for the Olympic trials when the pandemic hit. The summer games in Tokyo were postponed until 2021. What has happened since has tested the athletes' limits in every way you can think of. Nancy Chan spoke with several vying for a spot on Team USA, including two 2016 Olympians, gymnast Lori Hernandez and fencer Daryl Homer. As Nancy shows us, they had to develop a different kind of strength. They're among the best athletes in the world, used to training with top of the line equipment. But along with so many others, as the pandemic hit, Olympians like gymnast Lori Hernandez had to find a way to work from home. My living room doesn't really have the best <laughs> beam. My coffee table setup. can be the beam, it yeah. can be the vault. Those who felt like climbing the walls did. World champions lifted weights at a local park or in a garage next to holiday decorations. The artistic swimming team synchronized by Zoom. Family pets became training partners with the kids' playroom or a New York City balcony transformed into the gym. So sometimes on the balcony, the guy who lived across from me would be like, oh, you're fencing right now. Daryl Homer won a silver medal in Rio in 2016 and is trying to make his third Olympic team. It was probably two and a half months um, with very, very limited training. Finding a new place to run drills was far from the only challenge for these elite athletes whose lives and routines are meticulously planned years in advance. Hernandez won gold and silver medals in Rio, but like other Olympic hopefuls, she now has to wait to qualify for the upcoming games. Everybody was getting ready to peak and then all of a sudden we're having to come back down again. Rescheduling the Olympics means another year of testing limits financially, mentally and physically. What do you like about trail running? Uh, you know, it's quiet. Runner Kyle Merber helped set a world record in 2015. The 29-year-old had been hoping to qualify for his first Olympic team and his final attempt to make it to the Games. It definitely felt deflated at first. Everything that I do every single day is kind of positioned in such a way that I could run my best when it counts the most. And then all of a sudden, that is stripped from you. The added year also means less money for athletes, no longer winning financial prizes from competitions or sponsors. That's been really tough for a lot of different people out there just trying to make ends meet. And uh, I know a lot of their worries were like, OK, can I even hang in there for next year? Am I going to be able to financially hang on until the Olympics? Dr. Leah Lagos is a clinical and sports psychologist who treats Olympic athletes. She calls burnout in the next year a major concern. Especially for athletes that have been doing this for a long time, meaning you have athletes going to the Olympics that have trained since they were four and now they're 25. Some athletes have used the past few months to reflect. Homer says the pause in training gave him time to work on increasing diversity in fencing. He also participated in Black Lives Matter protests this summer. I really believe in doing what you can with what you have where you are, um, and that's kind of what I've been trying to do. The Olympic model translates to faster, higher, stronger, and the athletes hoping to be crowned the best in the world are now developing a new kind of resilience and purpose. My 18! With many redefining what it means to win. No, no longer will I let the Olympic rings determine whether or not I've had the success that I've hoped. It's just the day-to-day -day of enjoying what you're doing and the pursuit of it. For CBS This Morning, Nancy Chen, New York. Very interesting piece. There, there, you know, there may be nothing harder in this world than uh, having someone move the finish line yeah. for, uh, at the very end. Yeah. When, when you've been working on it. But I like what Daryl just said, doing what you can with what you have with where you are. Yeah, but it's hard. Well, These people literally have been training their whole exactly, lives. Exactly, exactly. Simple wisdom.